Hey guys, I'm filming this on my iPhone today because my camera battery died and I was about to do it. So here we are, but I have time right now and I figured I would just sit down and do it on my camera, like on my phone. There is a few things that I need to talk about. Um, I've always used <laughs> this channel as kind of like a a safe space for me um, to speak about things that I'm feeling and going through in case there's anybody out there that is going through something similar or honestly anybody that can give me advice for what I'm going through that's why I use my YouTube for my feelings and I have for a very long time it's gonna die down a little bit <laughs> because it's not gonna be anything crazy but I post well I haven't posted it yet as I'm filming this, but I'm going to post it before this one. Um, so I do have a video up about what's what's been going on. And I, uh, I've been going through a time of reflection and trying to figure out myself, um, who I am, that kind of stuff. I feel like growing up, I've always kind of changed myself in order to be liked. That is my problem. I I don't know as a person who I am. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know the things that I truly like. I feel like there are things out there that I really do enjoy, but I don't think that everything that I enjoy is me I guess I don't really know how to explain what I'm feeling or why I'm feeling like this right now so I feel like with friendships and relationships that I have been in um throughout the years I'm getting those friendships and relationships by turning myself into a person I am not or changing all of my likes and my values and my views into something that isn't what I feel to benefit the other person and in return getting them to like me <laughs> if that makes sense um, and I've done that growing up for a while so I grew up being able to get a taste of a lot of different things um my parents have country property, so I grew up around that, which that life is completely different than the life that I lived every day. And it's sometimes hard to like <laughs> show that person that I am when I am at that country property, when I'm away from like home home, because some people don't accept it or don't understand it or don't like it, but I like it. And... I always said that I wanted to grow up, get some farmland and like live like that. That's what I wanted to do. But <laughs> where I am from, like that's not really very common in like what people like and what people want to do. So, um, grown up hunting, fishing, all of that kind of stuff. That's, that's what I did. And that's what I enjoyed doing. Um, I started liking country music, right? Probably when I was, I would say right before high school. And a lot of people like made fun of me for liking country music. So I just stopped. I stopped listening to it and I stopped allowing myself to like it and I tried to learn all of the music and all of the things that everybody else was into so I didn't feel out of place you know I just there's a lot of stuff that I've wanted to do and that I've wanted to like growing up that I just haven't been able to when I was a freshman in college that was the first time that I was like able to put the person that I am under all of the piles of the person I am not out to somebody because 
I met a group of people that were into the same things that I was and I was able to do those things with them and it was fun and it was great and I really enjoyed that time and then I left that school and I was back home and I was back amongst everything else that isn't me. So now I'm trying to figure out who that person is and I'm really annoyed like really, really annoyed because I have to try things. I have to try different things to figure out what it is that makes me happy. And people don't always like you trying different things and seeing what works and what doesn't work. But I have to do it. I have to do it to figure out what it is that I enjoy out of life because I've been living for other people for so long, you know, all the time. And I don't like that version of me. And I'm 23 now. And I, it's time to finally like be figuring it out for me, not for anybody else. And I think it's really important that I put my foot down and figure it out. <laughs> because I don't want to continue to be the person living for everybody else. I don't want to continue to be the person that doesn't understand how they feel or what they like. There's a lot of different things that I like, but I know that all of those things that I like make me the person that I'm supposed to be. And I feel like I've been trying to hide that person for so long that I've completely lost touch completely. And now it's kind of just like my whole personality, my whole life, my whole who I am as a person is a mom. And although being a mom is great, like that's not supposed to be all you are. Like you're still supposed to love you and enjoy things that you enjoy doing. And I'm trying to figure it out. And it's really hard to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know if the person that I was growing up is like I don't even know if that person is the person that I'm meant to be or if that was just another phase but considering the fact that that's how I grew up I feel like maybe I can like touch base with her a little bit and maybe see what's going on but it needs to be in a judgment-free zone I need to find people that support me I need to find people that are gonna help me I I need to find that real love. I don't need fake friends, fake love. I don't need to just be around when it's convenient. I need somebody that's also going to be there for me. Because this is a very, I would say probably transformative time. And I feel like a lot of moms can relate to the time in which they're trying to figure out who they are again. And... Mainly it's just from coming back from being just like a mom. For me, it's years and years and years of just choosing to be the person that other people would like instead of the person that I would like. Because I've not always been the best person, but I for sure have been working on that part of it. But I haven't been working on me as a person. Like for other people, I've been working on that part. For me, I haven't. And I'm running out of time. <laughs> and, you know, this is going to be, I feel like I want to share these, these steps with everybody. <sighs> or just like, I mean, you know, I don't really have a huge following on here to begin with. Like, so it's not like really everybody. But I feel like if I could put my, my journey out there, I can get some insight from people dealing with the same thing or people that have gone through the same thing and are out of it now and I feel like advice would be great to receive from people and for other people to see the steps I have to take and see how I deal with it if they're having trouble then like that could be helpful I don't know I don't really know who I am I've had a lot of phases in life <laughs> but I definitely think that I need to figure out what makes me happy, what makes me happy, 
not what makes other people happy with me, what makes me happy. And I think it needs to start by just clearing out all of the negative energy because I carry a lot of negative energy. I have been a very negative person. I mean, a girl likes to complain sometimes, okay? Like, I, I'm guilty of that. But all of, like, the internal negative energy has got to, like, go somehow. Like, I have to... It needs to go. Because that's, like, the first step. Negative energy, out. Come in tune with yourself. And negative people need to go. Because they're going to be stuck in the same cycle. And you're going to be moving on. Because your worth isn't defined by what you have, what you like, your relationship, your friendships, like your job, like none of that defines your worth as a person. It's completely, it completely has to do with like you as a person, not what you have, not what you do, but who you are. And I think a lot of people lose sight of that. And I think that I just need to work on finding my people, my people. I have some really good friends and I've had some not really good friends. And I've been a really good friend and I've been a really bad friend. But I think that I have to let go of people taking advantage of me. I have to let go of people not seeing all of the effort that I put into them because at the end of the day, if I'm putting more effort into somebody that I'm putting into myself, that is a problem. And that is another reason why the last video, the divorce and everything, that is exactly the reason why like I'm at a point where I'm done now. Because I've put so much energy into another person that hasn't been reciprocating that energy and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm burnt out and I don't think that it's fair to me to settle for anything less than equal or more than what I give, I guess. I would say more equal because if you're doing more than you're just back in the situation that you were getting. So I, I don't know. I think that this is going to be the start of a little getting, getting my life back kind of switch on my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below. I'm trying to hit a thousand at some point. Would love the support. Hopefully I upload and stay consistent or I'll just fall into a not uploading hole like I always do. But you know, nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>